Congratulations on an official open stack project. It was accepted into the Big Tent a few months ago. And it's all about giving users a holistic view of the system, which shows every user what they need to know, when they need to know it, and give people a sense also when there are faults, what is the root cause of the problem that they're experiencing. So we drive the window into your cloud. And your cloud is, consists both of networking elements and also compute, storage, and every other virtual uh, resource and service you might have. And so we want to get a holistic view of all those put together so that we can then understand really how everything is interacting and what is affecting your system. Vitrage collects information from both OpenStack services but also external ones, uh, monitoring tools, etc and puts it all into an entity graph, um, which basically is a set of entities and their relationships with one another. Because once you know the relationships of different entities to one another, you can reason about how one can affect the other. You can then understand how a problem, let's say, in, in a specific virtual network could propagate and affect your application. Um, and currently in OpenStack, you cannot do that. You don't have a single pane of glass where you can see everything. But now with Vitrage, we're slowly building up that infrastructure so you can see it all from one in one shot. So the issue isn't so much an issue of permissions, but rather an issue of um, everybody seeing what they need to see. And the problem we have today is that we understand very well the, um, the physical layer, we understand very well different portions of the virtual layer, but we don't have a place where we see it all put together. And so if you need to troubleshoot a problem that you have in your system, you can't just take um, a view of one aspect of the system. You have to look at everything together. You have to be able to do it for regulatory purposes, to know, to report what happened in your system, especially in telco industries where we're geared towards the issue of performance and the ability to be accountable to customers, to have a clear idea of where the problems are and how to make sure they don't happen again is critical. Vitrage does two additional things which I think is important to note. One of them is the root cause analysis component where once we have alarms, we want to be able to reach the root cause of the problem so that we can avoid just patching over uh, you know, the symptom and actually deal with the problem itself. And the other thing which Vitrage does is by raising, it allows you to raise alarms on different entities in the system. And so if you can only see a certain set of entities, and if something is affecting you, an alarm that started somewhere else, we can make sure that it's all, the effect on you is also shown uh, on your entities. And that way you can see the full picture. So here we have the compute hierarchy which we call the topology screen, where you start off, this is the OpenStack cluster, and this is sort of a tree view of the system. So if you, let's say you zoom in to this area where you see that there's a yellow area where it, like the state, state is suboptimal. So you can see here, this is Compute00, zero zero, which is the name of a Nova host, right? So it's a specific host, and it has two VMs on it, which are uh, you know, also in a reduced performance uh, level. And here you can also see the, the, the alarms that are currently active on that. Actually, the next screen I'm going to show you is the entity graph. So this is this um, topology that we are um, bringing into Vitrage, putting together. It gives you like a, visual, a, vi a view of the entire system and how everything is interconnected. You can see here we have the Compute 00 as so before and how it's connected to the different entities. It highlights the, the immediate, when you click on it, it highlights your immediate neighbors, right? And each one of these you get the information that we have stored um, about that about that entity. Now this is just a view of everything put together, but you know it can be very messy. What you want to start doing is making sense of all this information. And that's where we get to the root cause analysis aspect. So you can see here we have four alarms. You can see that the trigger was from a monitoring tool called Zabbix. Okay, Zabbix is a, just an open source monitoring tool. It's not part of OpenStack. It's just a monitoring tool that you can, um, that you can use. And we had an alarm there talking about the public interface being down. This, we also hear alarms on the VM and alarm on a heat stack on an application. So the problem is if you can imagine having dozens of these alarms, sure. what, um, you know, how do you make sense of it? That's where you get to the root cause analysis. So if you, 
if you have Itraj analyze what caused the application error, you can see that this was caused by problems in the VM network for two VMs, one and two. And these two VM, these two alarms were caused by actually a, the root cause of the problem, which was a problem on the host, the public interface being down. So we don't, now we, we've taken a, a list and we've made it into a story, right, of what, is, what actually happened in my system. So now I can say, oh, if I want to fix my problem in the application, I can fix the problem in the public interface on the host, and everything else will just fix itself. Right, so that's sort of the idea, helping you get to, to the problem fast and address the issues um, in an effective manner. For Nokia's customers, and in general for the telco industry, the Azure performance is not just a nice thing to have. It's not just an interesting feature that they can add to their systems. Rather, because these systems are highly regulated, because they have a very high performance that the cloud does not usually supply, the issue of performance is essential. Without having good performance, they will not be able to make that move to working over, over the cloud, working and basically the move to NFV. As a result, one of the first things we need is to have transparency in our systems, to know where the problems are, to know how do we address them, to be able to react very quickly to problems so that we can recover from them fast and give the customers what they need. So this is really an essential component on the way to moving seamlessly to NFV without impacting negatively the customers that are going to be relying on this infrastructure.